What, you nervous, tough guy? I ain't fucking nervous, bro. You shaking little little girl. What the yeah, fuck I mean, am I shaking? Fuck off. I think he's still thinking about that fucking Irish broad he fucked last night, huh? Yeah. Hey. The hey. big broad. She wasn't big fucking big. She was, she, she was she, huge. She was fucking husky, okay? I'll give you that. <laughs> I had to fucking slap her thigh and ride the way back. <laughs> oh, I was from California. <laughs> Figures. Raise another five hundred. A call. All right. All in. Should have folded when you had the chance. Fold this. You ain't got shit, you fuck. You ain't got shit, you make fuck. How cocky little fucking shit. You know that? I thought I mean take this bottle and smash it over your wise ass head. All right, Jason, take it easy. Man. Fuck easy and fuck you. This prick's been riding me the whole fucking night. You know what they say, Jason. If you can't stand the heat, don't fucking play poker. Don't fucking patronize me. I'll put you through that fucking okay, wall. Okay, okay, Jason. I'll put you out of your misery. I call. Fuck. That's it. A pair of fucking piss and threes. That's all you've got is fucking cocky swaggering bullshit for a pair of fucking threes? How can you be so fucking sure of yourself with that? Oh, it sure as hell beats the shit out of whatever you had, Jason. How the fuck do you know what I have? I could be sitting here with four fucking A's for all you know. So? Prove me wrong. All right, Jason, time to show. Oh, fuck me sideways, King High. <laughs> pair of threes wins. How the fuck did you beat me with a pair of threes? Because I knew you didn't have a good hand. How the fuck could you know that? Boiled down, you told me. You practically broadcast it. When you got a good hand, you go all quiet because you're confident. You don't need to act tough, you got a good hand. But when you got a bad hand, you get all mouthy and aggressive to counteract your vulnerability. You don't need to be the World Series poker champion or psychoanalyst to realize that your bluffs ain't worth a rat's ass, buddy. Counteract vulnerability? Psychoanalyst? What the fuck kind of bullshit is this? It's the kind of bullshit that separates a professional like me from dead money like you. you no, know, I've had just about enough of you, you fucking cocksucker. Hey, Jason, if you don't like my company, that's cool. You can leave any time. All you gotta do is settle up. Now, let's see. Your current balance stands at 10 grand. 10 grand? What the fuck? I don't have 10 grand. You got a Welsh, Jason? No, I ain't got a fucking Welsh, asshole, okay? Look, I'll get to your money. It's just gonna take some time, that's all. Two weeks, Jason. If I don't have it by then, the entire goddamn Eastern Seaboard's gonna know you Welsh. And that's including all those wise guys you like to hang around with. You have to go to fucking Siberia to get a decent game, I guarantee it. Now get your deadbeat ass out of my joint and don't come back unless you got a whole bunch of dead presidents with you. One born every minute. Ain't that right. Oh, look, I get it, right? This guy strolls in here like he's a poker king in the goddamn Bronx, and you and I both know he's fucking terrible. But you clean him out with a pair of fucking threes. I, just, I, I don't know how you do it. Like I said, Tony, he broadcasts how he plays. All you gotta do to clean out a dumb shit like that is piss him off, make him angry, get a little fresh with him. He'll keep raising and raising because he's too pissed to back down. Even if he's got dick, it's kid's play, Tony. <sighs> Maybe, Mr. Big Shot, if it's so easy for you, then I deserve a better deal than 30%. I mean, <laughs> hey, you might be the big fucking pokerish, but I gotta set this shit up. I gotta reel shitheads like this in, which means I gotta lose to them. It's embarrassing. I don't believe you, Tony. Do you realize how much of a genius you have as a partner? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, either that or maybe the Bronx is just a hell of a small place, right? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Montanari, how the... How's the action, Bobby? What are you doing here? What do you think I'm doing here? I'm here to play. You're here to play? Yeah. What, is there a fucking echo in here? I mean, you're the A number one hotshot, right? So here I am. 
clean me out. Oh no, I forgot. Yeah, you only play guys you know you can beat, right? I mean, that's what you do, ain't it, Bobby, huh? And we're not talking novices here, are we? We're talking about real fucking losers. The kind of degenerate that would bet all their goddamn worldly possessions on two condensation drops running down a window, right? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you don't know what I mean? Well, let me refresh your memory, Bobby. I want you to cast your mind back 12 what? 95 seconds ago? Jason O'Donnell, Bobby. That long streak of Irish piss that was just sat here. Name ring a bell? Huh? I mean, I gotta hand it to you, Bobby. You did your homework there. I mean, that kid is a born fucking lemon. Hey, look. He just wanted a game. That's all. I, I don't know. Oh, you know enough, Bobby. Pretty simple hustle, right? Huh? You get this asshole here to go over there, throw him a couple of games for chump change, build up his confidence, make him think he's got ability that he just don't have, invite him back here for a big money game, and pow! That's where you come in, right, Bobby? And before long, our poor buddy O'Donnell's trudging his ass back to the Bronx because he ain't even got subway fare left. And you and your boyfriend here are ten big ones richer. That's how it plays, right, Bobby? No, no, look, wait, wait a second. We didn't know that you were associated with O'Donnell, right, Bobby? I mean, if we did, we, we, we went, near, went near the fucking guy. Because we... Oh, fuck! Fuck! That was for calling me a cunt. <laughs> I didn't call you a fucking cunt! You said that I was connected with O'Donnell, who was a cunt. Therefore, by assuming that I was associated with a cunt, you implied that I was a cunt. Jesus Christ, Montanari, you didn't mean any offense. Nobody said you liked O'Donnell. Staying on the subject of o O'Donnell, Bobby, he's not just a cunt, you know. Oh yeah, he's a husband and a father as well. Oh yeah, he's got a loving wife and a pretty young daughter that depend on him to provide for them. Didn't know that, did you? And every time that dumbass fried potato motherfucker loses a card game, they'll go hungry. Oh yeah, his butt is buried in debt. He's got credit cards, loan sharks, just so he can keep on playing. But you pushed him too far this time, Bobby. Oh yeah, that 10 grand's gonna be too big a nut for him to crack. And before long, he's gonna lose his job, he's gonna lose his apartment, his kids are gonna go into care, his wife's gonna end up on the street where she'll probably be forced to become a crack whore. And as for O'Donnell, Bobby, 10 years stretch in Attica because he tried to stick up a gas station, but he left his wallet at the crime scene and got caught because basically, he's a fucking wing nut. And also you and this asshole can get your hands on a piss and chunk of change. I was wondering how you felt about that. Now listen, Montanari. O'Donnell's a lemon. You said so yourself. If I didn't clean him out, someone else would have sooner or later. So... Why you gotta beef with me for shafting him? Still ain't worked it out, huh? That's understandable, I suppose. Worked what out? You keep mentioning O'Donnell. Fuck O'Donnell! I'm not here for him, I'm here for you! And what do you want from me? I told you, I wanna play! You wanna play poker? Me against you? Now you're catching on! What kind of poker do you like to play, Bobby? Uh, I, I don't know. What kind of poker do you like to play? Hold him. Hold him? Well, why do you know? My favorite kind. I have to tell you, Bobby, I never lose at holding. Not that I lose at any other kind of poker, but you get what I mean. You know what I love most about poker, though, Bobby? What's that? What I love most about poker is the same thing that I love about Columbo. You ever watch Columbo, Bobby? Columbo? What? I don't remember. Oh, it's the greatest fucking show ever made. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen just about them all. You know, there was this guy once, real crazy son of a bitch. I meet him all the goddamn time, I'll tell you. What was that fucker's name again? Doesn't matter. Anyway, he was obsessed with Columbo, right? And he said, the big secret of the show, the real reason that Columbo always knew who the killer was, was because Columbo was psychic. I mean, can you believe that? Psychic. Yeah, and he says that's the way Columbo always knew who the killer was. And he says that there's this one episode that proves Columbo was psychic. Death lends a hand. That's what it was called. Death lends a hand. And in this episode, Columbo reads a guy's palm. And that's supposed to prove that Columbo was psychic, according to this nutcase, right? He says, uh, Columbo don't need to do no investigating or no shit like that. He's got psychic powers. He gets them from his fucked up eye. I <laughs> can you believe this fucking guy? And he says, you know, Columbo's psychic, right? 
Bullshit. Columbo ain't psychic. He don't read minds. He just reads people. That's what he does. He reads people. And that's what I love about Columbo, Bobby. And it's also what I love about poker, you see? Poker is a game about reading people. And the better you can read people, Bobby, the better you are at the game. You see, you can read people, Bobby. Although you don't have to be Columbo to read the douchebag like O'Donnell. I mean, that shit for brains make bastard daughter been wearing a fucking sign. But as good at reading people as you are, Bobby, I got an advantage. Because unlike Columbo, Bobby, I am psychic. I always know what the other guys got. So unfortunately, there's no way you can beat me, Bobby. What's the worst thing you, you can call a poker player? Dead money, right? Well, that's what you are to me, Bobby. Dead money. Dead money. Well, if I'm dead money and there's no way that I can beat you, why the fuck are we playing? <laughs> you still don't get it. I know you're going to lose, Bobby. It's how you lose I'm interested in. I don't understand. Well, what do you, you mean? You will understand once you start losing. We're going to play poker we're going to jerk off? <laughs> I like your attitude, Bobby. Oh, there's just one more thing. What's that? There's a slight difference when I play poker. I really should have made this clear from the top. You see, I'm not playing to get your money, Bobby. I'm playing to see... See how I lose. I know what you said. Yeah, yeah, I did. But what I didn't say, Bobby, is that every time you lose a hand, he loses a hand. What? What the fuck? No! No! no. Yes! What are you doing, Montanari? What the fuck is this? It's simple, Bobby. You lose a hand, Bobby. you lose a hand. You lose two <laughs> hands, your boy here is gonna need to live an ass wipe before when he goes to pinch his daily wolf, capiche? And when we're out of hands, Bobby, we're gonna move on to his other appendages. Get what I'm saying? Montanari, please. You're the big blind, Bobby. Blinds are 10 and 20. I, I, I don't know what you want, but please. You're the big blind. Bobby, fuck man, just do what he says. I'm not playing. Come again? I'm not playing. God damn it, Bobby, man, what the fuck are you doing? I'll pretend for your sake that I didn't hear that, Bobby. You heard what I said. I'm not playing. Bobby, man, the guy's got a fucking knife in my hand. Whatever happens, he's gonna fuck us up anyway, Tony. I mean, you come into my place, waving a piece around, waving a knife around, talking in fucking riddles. Well, congratulations. I'm scared, Montanari. I'm fucking scared shitless. But I'm still not playing. <coughs> Pick up your cards, Bobby. No fucking way, Montanari. Bobby, I told you. Play I'm not playing. You're obviously not gonna let, let me win, whatever happens, so... Do what you're gonna do, but you're not gonna humiliate me. Last chance, Bobby. Pick up your cards. I ain't fucking playing. I don't know what I'm supposed to have done to you, and I don't know what kind of sick fucking game you're playing, Montanari, but I'm telling you now, I'm not fucking playing. playing, Bobby. It's just that now you're going to be playing in agonizing oh. fucking pain, that's all. <gasps> now pick up your cards, Bobby. Pick up your fucking cards. You shot me. Bobby. You fucking shot me. Pick up your cards, Bobby. Uh. Pick up your cards, Bobby. I can't. You think you know what pain is? I'll show you what pain is. I'll show you pain you never thought was possible! I'll take you to the fucking world of it, motherfucker! Now pick up your goddamn fucking cards! Pick them up! Pick them up! Yeah, boy! See, now we can play! Oh, Bobby, just do what, he, do what he fucking says, will ya? Here we go with the fly, Bobby. Oh. Oh. There's two guys playing oh. poker. Oh. Yes. I 
That's so fucking funny, my dad. I mean, can you believe the balls on this kid, huh? <laughs> I mean, he's sitting there with a hole in his leg, he's in all kinds of fucking pain, and he still tries to fucking bluff me. <laughs> you, you got balls big enough to come in a canyon, kid. Honestly. How do you know I'm bluffing? Because I told you, Bobby, I'm psychic. I know you got nothing. You got a jack and a nine. You got less than nothing. You fucking cheat. I got pocket kings. The nuts, man. Three in total. That means I win, you lose. You fucking cheated me, Montanari. You're a sore loser, Bobby. Tony, you owe me a hand. <laughs> Please don't take my fucking hand. Listen, wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> Montanari? Where did Montanari's we... in Atlantic City, Bobby. He's dropping his syndicate's money on the tables. I'd say they're going to be fishing him out of the Hudson in, what, two weeks? You know, if it's any consolation, you're a far better poker player. I don't understand. What the fuck are you talking about? I just wanted to give you a face you would respect. I made the whole thing a shitload more convincing, right? What? Still haven't put it together, huh? Jason O'Donnell, Bobby. Jason O'Donnell? What about him? What happened with Jason O'Donnell, Bobby? I, I cleaned him out and he left. No. What happened with Jason O'Donnell, Bobby? Like I said, you pushed him too far. Now, let's see. Your current balance stands at 10 grand. 10 grand? What the fuck? I don't have 10 grand. You got a Welsh, Jason? No, I ain't got a fucking Welsh, asshole, okay? Look, I'll get you your money. It's just gonna take some time, that's all. Two weeks, Jason. If I don't have it by then, the entire goddamn Eastern Seaboard's gonna know you Welsh. And that's including all those wise guys you like to hang around with. You have to go to fucking Siberia to get a decent game, I guarantee it. Now get your deadbeat ass out of my joint and don't come back unless you got a whole bunch of dead presidents with you. every minute. Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! You see now, Bobby? I see. But why the game of poker? Ah, oh, it wasn't about poker, Bobby. It was about you, about what kind of man you are. And when you begged for the life of your friend at your own expense, you just showed me. You see now, Bobby? I see. It ain't just old Beardy upstairs that works in mysterious ways, you know. So, you're the... I won't be seeing you again, Bobby. But I gotta tell you, you one hell of a poker player. I always knew this fucking game would be the end of me. You play for